would say in the question that they see young people serving God while they're, you know, in their family and in their church community. And when they go to college, they grow up, they just denounce the faith. How do you make this salvation stick? Well, first of all, um, salvation is an individual thing, right? So whether they confessed faith as a little kid or got baptized is not yet that salvation that sticks, quote unquote. Salvation that sticks is a personal conviction that often with children come once their whole faith system, value system, belief system are tested. And that is what's happening here. Kids go off and they see people living by an opposite set of values and they want to see how that's working for them. So we have to, in our home and in the way we raise them, we have to constantly answer the question, how is this working for you? And it only is proven to really work when our children see our faith hold up in both good and bad times. What we often do as parents is when the bad stuff happens, we, we kind of draw the curtain shut like you do in a hospital when something ugly is going to go down at your bed, you know, it's a bedpan or in my case a needle or something that's happening. So we quickly pull the curtain shut. So our children never see what does faith look like when things are messy. Open that curtain, let them see your doubt, let them see how you work through that with the Lord, let them see you um, fear and work your fear out with God because they need to see that faith is real and applies to every situation of your life, not just in Daniel's story, Job's story, Jonah's story or any other Bible story. They need to see it in your story. And it starts with you being 100% convinced that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life and living accordingly and really believing who seeks shall find so ultimately when our children leave and they pursue a different path, our role is to love them fiercely, to love them home like the father of the prodigal son and also to encourage them to search. Because my conviction is that no matter where they look, they will never find anything like Jesus. And the longer they search, the sooner they will work through that little list and come back to the seeds that you and I have sown in their lives. So, Pray, love, and encourage them to search.